Hello beautiful people, welcome to another video with your girl Siobhan. Welcome back, welcome back, and thank you for joining me for another video, taking some time out of your busy day. I really appreciate it, thank you so much. If you're new, I hope you will subscribe, and if you're a lifetime loyal, welcome back. I love y'all to the moon and back. I am so thankful, so, so thankful. So today I'm gonna to be deep cleaning my dining room. I'm also going to show you a quick little project I did with the kids or for the kids. And then also we went to a birthday party, my niece's one year birthday party. So a couple different things, things going on in this video. So just to make it interesting for you guys. But yeah, so first we're going to start with cleaning up this dining room. I want to make sure that it's nice and clean before we head out the door. That is my goal. I've been trying to stay on top of my chores, making sure the kids do their chores. You know, the house stays you know semi clean it's not going to be spotless like a you know a pinterest or an instagram page all the time with five kids in the home and one adult and two dogs and two cats it's not going to be spotless but i want it to be at least presentable so definitely going to get this table cleaned off y'all know that the dining room tables can be a catch-all sometimes but we are going to get it together and it's not going to take long at all. I am planning on doing a dining room refresh. There's a few little DIY projects that I want to do in here that I think is going to make the dining room pop even more. So I'm excited about that. I can't wait to share that with you. They are labor intensive, but they are going to make a, a huge statement for not a lot of money. So I'm really excited about that. So I will come back to y'all in a few minutes, but let's enjoy the video. So I always pick up cases of water. I know we all do. And I keep going back and forth like, should I buy water? Should I not buy water? I do have a Brita filter picture, a Brita pitcher that does the filtered water. That's the proper way to say it. I do have that. We do filter our water before we put it in our ice maker. But the bottles of water is so easy and convenient and everything. So we, I do buy these sometimes. And I don't get, I get the packs of water for less than four dollars at sam's club so it's not too bad but i do go back and forth i'm like oh maybe i shouldn't buy them now whenever there is bottles of half filled water left on a table or in the living room or you know around the house i usually will just take those pour them in the cat you know in the pet water filter tration water filter thing i don't know what it's called guys i forget so we're not totally wasting it, but the kids do do waste it. They never drink the entire bottle. They really don't. And I prefer the flavored water, which I need to go get me some more of that probably sometime this week. But yeah, I prefer flavored water. Actually, hmm, do I need to go get some? I've been doing pretty good. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Today I stopped at Aldi, so I got a few things. I cooked a nice dinner and all of that. That'll be coming up in the next video. But here I am going to just move everything off of this buffet. This buffet is by Homery. And then these three mirrors that are up on the wall are by Ikea. Very, very reasonable. I just love how it bounces the light all around the room. So I love those mirrors. I was thinking about changing the color of them. I was, I'm not gonna say the color, but thinking about changing the color of them. We shall see, but I do love the mirrors. 
So here I am using some Sprayway glass cleaner. I'm going to clean my mirrors. I'm going to clean my shelves, you know, clean the windows, just wipe everything down, get all the dust and everything off of it, freshen it back up. And then we're going to move into cleaning the shelves. Of course, we're going to vacuum. Now on this day, I am going to my niece's birthday party. So I didn't shampoo the carpets, but the shampoo of the carpets is definitely coming. I am going to replace the carpets sometime this year guys sometime this year i do want to replace the carpets um but it's not in the budget just yet So I wanted to bring this up really quickly and let me know if y'all are interested in doing a possible live video. I want to do like a live where we do like girl talk, something like that. I'm not sure, but I, I really, I'm leaning towards it. Put it that way. I'm leaning towards it. So I took the twins to the pool yesterday. I met up with my sister and her son and then my aunt was there and a few people that I, I've grown up with. So we went to my old town that I actually grew up with, grew, grew up in, excuse me. So I was there, we were just talking and everything. We were talking about like dating and you know, they have, they're in relationships. So my aunt is married, my sister is engaged, you know, they, they're in relationships. But, and I haven't been dating at all. I haven't been dating. I haven't been trying to date. I wasn't looking to date. I'm not on any dating apps or sites or, you know, anything like that whatsoever. It was just a conversation that we were having about dating. And I think it's so funny because I've been watching YouTube videos and stuff too. And everybody says the same thing. Like dating nowadays is trash. It's just trash. And so <laughs> I'm like, I'm like some people, it was so funny because my mom was saying she used to go to Home Depot. Her and her friend used to go to Home Depot and look for eligible men, you know, whatever. I've heard other women say that too. And um, also, what else? I mean, like, I don't know. Some people might go to like cigar lounges or, you know, you go out every weekend or whatever the case may be. I absolutely hate the smell of any type of smoke, cigarettes, cigars, anything like that. I hate it. So I don't see myself sitting around in a cigar lounge okay home depot yeah i will definitely go to home depot all day and Lowe's all day long all day um but then also like you know like the clubs or the bars or anything i don't do that there i might go if i'm invited you know one of my girlfriends like hey meet me here i might go like once twice maybe three times a year something like that so very rare but it's like where do you meet people like is everybody meeting people on dating sites like is that the new thing i don't i don't understand like grocery stores do you bump into people in a grocery store so we were just talking like and then when you meet someone they don't know like i feel like men don't know how to date you anymore they don't know how to court you they don't know how to ask you out on a date and then they do ask you out and you know they want to take you i don't know they they don't really want to take you on a date they want something something cheap or whatever I don't know we were just having this conversation and I'm like I want to do a girl talk I want to do a girl talk I want to talk to a few ladies I want to see what's going on and yeah I'm not in any rush to date or anything like that I mean I just find it funny like everybody says dating nowadays with social media and everything is trash and I just think it's funny I do I really do saw a couple posts on Instagram or TikTok. I'm not sure. I've been trying to be more active on TikTok, but I'm not sure where I saw the post from. But people were saying if you are a single woman with kids or, you know, a divorced, newly divorced or newly single or whatever. But if you have small kids, 
don't date until your kids are older because men, certain men will look to prey on you and your children. You know what I'm trying to say? And which is true. I, I totally agree with that. I totally agree with that. But I don't know if I necessarily, I know certain men will prey on you, but not all men, not all men. My stepdad came into my life when I was eight years old and um, my middle sister was four. My baby sister wasn't born yet, of course, that's her dad. But he came into our lives when I was eight years old and I mean, like jumped in full, full speed ahead. Never any issues with him. Great man, taught us a lot of life lessons, you know, no issues whatsoever. He had no kids. My baby sister is his only child and he loved me and my sister like we were his own. No problems at all. But I do understand and I do believe and I do know that there are men out there who will prey on single moms so that they can get a hold of the younger children. And the only good thing is that I have older kids who are very, very, very um, conscientious as well as aware and, you know, you know, all of that good stuff. So they know they know they're like, mm mm. And I would have no, you know, I would not be leaving my children with him to watch them or anything like that. Because I see a lot of things where things happen to the kids when they are left, the mom goes to work or whatever the case may be. So anyway, I do understand that. And that is very scary to me. That's very scary to me. But anyway, so I'm just going to clean off these mirrors. Also, guys, I was thinking about getting a different mirror to go over here. And I have an idea. But the mirror that I want, the mirror that I want over here costs like almost $1,000. Yes. Yes, it does. I'm like, mm -mm. I mean, oh gosh, I would love to have it. But I'm saying like, oh, I can't even imagine for just one piece, one piece of the home decor, home decor. I don't know. But there is a mirror that I love that I've looked at for years since I since I purchased a home. I've loved this mirror. It's just very expensive. And yeah, one day, one day, I'm going to get everything that I want one day in time, in time. So anyway, I'm thinking about replacing that mirror over here and also doing a couple more things in the dining room to give it a nice refresh. I still want to go to either Michael's or Joanne Fabrics or Hobby Lobby. Actually, I'm going to say Michael's or Hobby Lobby because I don't really buy flowers from Joanne Fabrics. So Michael's or Hobby Lobby to get some flowers to go in my vase right there on the dining room. I mean, on the mantle, um, I do want to get some flowers to go in there and I'm actually thinking about some hydrangeas we'll see we'll see sometimes I do find beautiful flowers at um, home goods or Burlington Burlington a lot yes so we shall see we shall see but here I'm going to clean off the shelves they do get dusty as with everything it's just a part of life so I am going to wipe them off really quickly I'm just changing um, adding some water into my air purifier not air purifier mm -hmm. It is my essential oil diffuser. That's what it is. So I'm just adding some water. I put some more um, oil to diffuse in there. I'm turning it on. It does have different colors and settings and everything. I'll try to link it down below if I um, remember. If I don't, just ask me and I'll tell you. But I love diffusing oils. I do that in my living room. Well, in my dining room and the kitchen. And I tried to do it upstairs, but... I never remember to do it enough upstairs, but I do like diffusing oils. Ain't got no time to fight. I'm talking way too loud. And if you don't like the sound, you could just tune it out. Who you rooting for? They say whatever team that win. I say cool, cause it's gonna be whichever one I'm in. Yeah, I'm good like that. Yeah, I'm good like that. Who you rooting for? They say whatever I am so glad. So I had my last iron infusion done today. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. And I do feel great physically somewhat. 
okay? I do feel great physically, but I am struggling mentally. So I'm trying to get my mental together. I'm, try I'm trying to get my mental together. I'm working on that. I have a doctor's appointment coming up so we can work on that. And I do believe in going to the doctors, whether it be for your body, your mind, your mouth, Whatever the case may be, I believe in going to the doctors and figuring out what is going on, if there is a problem, or just to make sure there is not a problem. So if you need to go to the doctors, I definitely recommend that you go. I do need to go for a mammogram. So that is coming up. And then I also have a procedure coming up, small procedure coming up in the middle of August. So got a couple things going on, got a couple things going on, but um Again, I believe in going to the doctors and making sure I am my best self, to be honest with you. So I had six iron infusion sessions. They were one hour sessions for six weeks. Once a week I was gone. I did not miss one session and I was not late to one session. That's how bad I, I needed the iron and I knew I needed it. Okay. So your girl made sure she was there on time every time. <laughs> every time but it did help a lot guys it helped so much because I was consuming so much ice every single day I was struggling I could not I had no energy I would push myself and then I would crash like I had no energy whatsoever I feel so much better physically even though I hurt my back but physically I feel better I can tell that the iron is working it's just you know I hate that I had to get the iron infusions, but they really don't hurt. It's, you know, it's that one little prick from the IV that they put in. But other than that, it doesn't hurt. It doesn't bother me. There's no issues or anything like that. So I would definitely do it again. I mean, if they wanted me to go once a month, I would go as long as my iron stays at a normal rate. Because when your iron is low, I mean, you feel like you are just dead tired all the time, all the time all the time so I do feel better and also update my blood pressure has been awesome for the past couple weeks I've been at around 110 over 75 and that is amazing so I'm very thankful for that thank you Lord thank you thank you thank you so anyway let's press on I'm cleaning off this shelving unit that I picked up from Burlington I can't remember how much it is but it's in one of my past videos where I did a haul I want to say that it was like $70 I think it was like $70, guys. I love it. I love it. I love that I can just store my um, drinkware and stuff on here as, and drinks, even though I really rarely drink ever, <laughs> like maybe twice a year. But I do like the look of it. I feel like if someone comes over and they want to drink, I have a few things to offer them. And I do keep a bottle of wine in the refrigerator because you never know when you're going to when you're going to have somebody come over who wants a glass of wine or something so there you go so let's get these cleaned off and let's get this dining room together I gave myself a timer and I had stuck to it I was so proud of myself so I told myself I was going to be done cleaning by 2 30 because I wanted to be out the house I got up well let me backtrack sorry so I got up I showered and then I got the kids up they ate their breakfast and so forth. And then I gave them their chores, like what I wanted them to get done. And they were going, they took their dad out to eat for his birthday. And I went to my niece's one year birthday party all by myself, no kids. So it was actually me and my mom because I picked her up and then we went to the party. And <laughs> I, I mean, I never get to do stuff hardly ever by myself like that. So, um, and they had already planned that they were taking their dad out for his birthday. So that was that was perfectly fine. I didn't mind at all. So I said, I'm going to be done by 2.30 so that I can be out the door at 3.30, pick up my mom, head to the birthday party. And that's what happened. So I do love that. And then also they left the house at 5.30 because dinner was going to be at 6.00. And I can see everything with, on my cameras and everything that I have around the house. And, of course, the kids check in with me and all of that good stuff. So it wasn't a problem. So the twins were already with my ex. They were already with their dad. Ayana, Chris, and London were the ones who had to leave, you know, leave and meet up and, you know, go from there. So it was a good it was a good Saturday. Everybody had a good time. And then Sunday, I took the twins to the pool. Ayana, London, and Chris did not want to go. So they stayed home. They said, mm -mm, it's too hot. I said, okay, I, you want it to be hot when you go to the pool. At least I thought, but they said no. So just me and the twins went to the pool and we had us a good time again. So I told them 
that we would go to the pool tomorrow but i think it's going to rain so if it rains tomorrow then we'll go on wednesday or something like that but i'm trying to take them to the pool as much as possible because you know summer is it goes by so fast and we actually enjoy the water we enjoy being at the pool um so yeah let's get this uh get the rug vacuumed and we're almost done How they looking at me? I think they influenced by me. They say they not fucking with me, alright. Wish I they looking at me. She want me to slide for the flame. She want me to show some things. But right now I'm focused on me doing me. Gotta watch step on the tightrope. I never fall off this light work. No one's people trying to see me down real bad. Same ones trying to meet me where I'm at now. Same ones trying to figure how I got here. I've been serving my pot, been shaking my sauce, been writing these songs since 48 key drop. Tell me when to go, how you think I'm finna stop? I be protecting my inner child. You could keep all of that distance. They be hating on me cause they see I'm gifted. It's all from the soil, shit 3D printed. I be doing me like I got a blink check. I be decking shade for the love and respect. Wanna touch stage, cross seas on me. No drama, more flights. Next year's looking lit. Um, later for somebody grass i'm burning the gas to my last breath life is so fragile enjoying the roses so high you can't see me i'm seated she want to beat me i'm trying to do fiji i live on the island alone i'm trying to be one with my aura before i allow your soul i've been trying really hard to make sure that i cook the kids you know good meals home cooked meals something that you know they ask for and then also keep trying to reintroduce or introduce things that they are not used to having so for example like the roast i just made a roast and the kids are like do we have this before i haven't made one in a very long time <laughs> in a very long time and i'm like yes you've had it before and it's so funny because kinsley was like mom this is so good i was like yeah i told you baby i told you i said it's very rare very very rare that i will make something that the kids don't like now there have been times where the kids you know if I, if I rush cooking dinner, it never turns out right. If I take my time and cook dinner, it always turns out right. Always. But if I rush, it's a problem. So what I did is, you know, I got up, went to the gym. I got up, got dressed, and um, got the twins together, went and got my iron infusion, went to the gym, came home, cooked the roast, and so forth. And, you know, let it cook in the slow cooker. And then I got up, I made the um, some cheese potatoes for them, their absolute favorite cheese potatoes, and I made some mixed vegetables, and that was dinner, okay? As you can see, the dining room is nice and clean. I just wanted to say that. It's nice and clean. I dusted, wiped off everything. Everything is good to go. Like I said, I will be doing a dining room refresh. There are a few things that I want to change up. I got those two blue balls over there from Burlington. I got that little bud vase from Ross, I think. That blue bud vase. And yeah, I love my dining room. I love the blue and white decor. I love it. I love it so, so much. I also like black and gold. Those are like my colors. Blue, white, black, and gold. Those are my, my colors throughout my home. And then, of course, there's some gray, some pops of gray in there as well. But yeah. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Now, I do want to show y'all this just to give y'all some inspiration if you haven't done so already. I am doing a Pinterest inspired summer schedule for the kids, which they are loving. So right now my twins are in vacation Bible school. It was actually two weeks. It was last week and this week. This Friday is the last day of it. It's like the big finale and they are loving it. They have not given me any problems except for day one. Kate, Kate cried on the first day. Now they understand they take their showers and stuff at night. We lay their clothes out and they are ready for the next day. I get them up. We wash our face. We brush our teeth. We put on our lotion and make sure that we're all together, get our hair fixed and so forth, blah, blah, blah. You know, you get it. But anyway, so they have their summer schedule. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about this. Again, this is very Pinterest inspired and I love this. We also did a summer bucket list, which I'll probably have in the next video or the video after that, just to give y'all some ideas. But on here, this is like a bucket list as well, if you ask me. 
I don't think you really need to do both, but if you want to, I mean, you definitely can. So on Mondays, this is Make It Monday. And you're going to see some of the things that I put down on here. So today is Monday and we actually made a cake. Now the cake is actually cooling off. You know, you can't put icing and stuff on it while it's, you know, hot. So the cake is cooling off, but the kids are going to decorate it tomorrow. And yeah, so make it Monday. They can bake, they can sew, they can, you know, do a artwork picture, whatever it is where it's make it Monday, but it's more, they can do craft, they can sew, they can cook, they can do all kinds of things. But this schedule goes Monday through Sunday and I put down some ideas. They get to pick which one they want to do and they're happy. They love it. They, it's just something fun. It sometimes it, you know, when you have a lot of kids or when you have kids during the summer, they get bored, right? They get bored. So on here, we can do a craft, which you can get crafts from the Dollar Tree guys. Um, we can sew. You can do hand sewing, crocheting. You can bake. We can cook. We can do a DIY project. We can paint. So there's all kinds of things that you can do. So again, on here, I'm going to show you a couple ideas of what I put together. And then we're going to look at my niece's quick little birthday party. But yeah, this was fun to make. I really enjoyed it. And then we have Thinking Tuesday. Now my kids do are doing the IXL and they have to, you know, just use their brain a little bit. That's one of the things I like about baking as well, guys, because they have to they have to think a little bit. So for example, we did one third cup of um, oil. And so we were asking, I don't want to say her name, but S-I-R-I, -I, you know. We were asking her, like, how many cups is in, or how many teaspoons is in one third cup, blah, blah, blah. You know, so they have to think. Okay, so also we need three eggs, and we need a half a cup of milk, and that, all of that. So that just gives them a chance to kind of, you know, follow directions, you know, use their brain, and figure out how they're going to do it. So they love, my kids love to cook and bake. Love, love, love it. Love it. So then we also have, like, Water Day Wednesday. Here where we live at, we have the water steps, we have sandcastle, we have, um, of course, the wave pool, we have um, splash pads, we have the pool itself and different things like that. We have a lake that we can drive to that's like an hour away. Um, there's a pond at one of the parks where we can go and feed the ducks and stuff. So there's all kinds of things that we can do. And so they get to pick which one and we get to do it all of that. So you'll see how I continue to fill this out. I really love it. It's just, it just gives us some ideas of what to do so the kids don't get bored. Merry go, merry go round, round with ya. In the now, then up and down, down, down. It's getting old, going around, round with ya. Think I need some solid ground. Merry go. That's no Break when I bend over backwards for you If there's a way to get you to change I won't be around anymore anyway
So beautiful people, I want to wish my beautiful niece a happy first birthday. I love you, Taylin. Happy first birthday. And yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Thank you so, so much for watching. I really love y'all and I appreciate y'all. If you've watched it to the end, please leave me a balloon emoji to let me know you watched it to the end. And I will see y'all in the next video. And thank y'all so, so much. Bye.